My name is Kevin Morgan, and I'm caregiver for my mom, who will be 90 years old this coming April. Um, she was diagnosed with Alzheimer's about five years ago. Um, the most important thing to her and to me and her children is that she be able to stay in the place that she has known as her home for 57 years. Well, my dad had dementia, and so I watched mom care for him for years with that. Um, and to start thinking about, oh God, mom's gonna be, you know, going this way too, and how are we going to manage that? At the time my sister lived in Arizona, um, how are we going to manage just the day-to-day -day taking care of her? Uh, we've offered to take her to my house to live, but when we bring her to my house and we have a family celebration, it just blows her mind because there's nothing familiar there. Um, and so we've tried to keep the familiar things that are associated with a memory, uh, like Dad's car, which doesn't run anymore. It sits in the, the little covered garage there, not because we need it, but because it's attached to a memory of him. Her main thing throughout all of this has been, I want to stay at home as long as I can. I love this place. This has been a good place. She says things like that. She even shared that with Dr. Benson when she was asked at a couple of visits ago um, to stay at home as long as she can. And so Dr. Benson and, and the, the, the caregivers at Laurel Park have helped give us the tools and the resources to keep her at home. During the warmer months, during the summer and the spring, she will spend most of the day sitting on the porch watching the cars go by and reminiscing about things that she remembers about the children that she raised there her neighbors um, working a word search puzzle. She can't remember what she did two minutes ago, but she can beat me on the word search puzzle. Um, and she'll often say, this has been a good place. I love this place. Um, my friends are here, my family's here, and I want to stay here. Yeah, as a caregiver, I think it's important to realize early um, that there is help available. Um, there was an anxiousness about the unknown you know, even though you can read, this is the journey of Alzheimer's, the six stages or whatever. Um, it's like, I don't know if I can, can do that. Can I go there? How, how, how do I manage that? And then when I realized that there, you know, Dr. Benson was there, Jerry Trishan uh, was there, um, it was liberating. And I think what the Age Friendly Center brings is an awareness that, you know, we can't alter the journey, perhaps. Uh, we can't fix mom but we can go there with you and know that there are some resources to help you make this the best time it can be. It's going to be a hard time, and it has been a hard time uh, for both her and the people who care for her and her family. Um, I think caregivers need to realize that there are resources out there in the community uh, and within Advent Health uh, to help them navigate that journey. It's not, a, it's not a journey you have to take alone.